Hey guys, Liquid here, and welcome to yet another Star Wars LP. This is Let's Play Lego Star Wars! The Complete Saga! Woohoo! Now, this is a bit of a guilty pleasure of mine, I must admit. Um, I, I really enjoy these Lego Star Wars games. I think they're really cool, and um, hopefully you will too. So let's get into this. New game. And it basically drops us, I believe, right into it. Uh-oh. Okay, my controls are not... Oh, wait. Oh, okay, so my controls are... Are they? Has it... It, it seems to have transferred some of my controls, but not all of them. Has it... That seems to be the case. I can... Pull up my lightsaber, I can do stuff, but I cannot switch to Qui-Gon. Hmm. Go into him. Go into him. Go into him. Go into him. Okay. If that's what you if that's how you're gonna be. Basically it drops us right into the little lobby here. Um Qui-Gon? Oh what what have I done? I think, oh, I think I've done something stupid. I'm not sure if, I think the reason I can't switch to him, I think for some reason, my controller is linked to player two or something, and so it's recognizing, if I use my arrow keys, oh my gosh, my controller is controlling Obi-Wan, my, my keyboard is controlling Qui-Gon. What the heck? That's weird. Calvin, we're gonna fix this out, and I'll be with you shortly. Right, so I think I've got it figured out now. Yep, okay. So it drops us into our little hub here. Now, my experiences with the LEGO Star Wars series are mainly with the first three. Um, I, I got, I had rented the first one, like, back when it, like, the first LEGO Star Wars, like, back when it came out, and, um, Shortly after like bought it or whatever. Oh, man. It's like time on us, huh? and then After the second one came out the original trilogy. I then Rented that but then I like never played it again. And so I got the Complete collection or whatever on Steam, which I believe has some extra stuff as well, but the first three um, movies will basically be I will probably whiz through them and then the prequels are um, or the the uh, original trilogy. I'm gonna be a little bit weird on probably. But here we are. We are Obi Wan and Qui Gon of the first um, Star Wars film um, canonically, and we can blow stuff up with our lightsaber and get these little metal these little metal discs called studs. And what studs do are, they're basically our currency. They let us get upgrades and all that cool stuff. And, oh god, I've killed someone. Now, breakout is going on. Oh my. But they do not stop us because we're Jedi. This is not, this is not good at all. Obi-Wan, slay them. Slay them at all. Um, now this is not a very difficult game by any means. Um... When you die, you respawn exactly where you were, and you can just keep going on. So that's very good. Now, I'm not really sure, thinking of the way to go into this. Okay, I, this is the first movie, I believe. We are currently in the uh, Moss Eisley um, canteen. So we can make our... Uh, huh, I think this, this was added in... I think this was added in the original trilogy. We, we can make our own dude. I might deal with that at another point or something. Huh. Okay, I'm just gonna... Stray from that. Okay. Let's make a save game, sure, I guess. I just wanted to get into the Star Wars and... I'll just first like mess around with the canteen. Canteen, cantina. Well, hmm, 
I, I think you would call it a canteen. When I, when I think canteen, I think of like a um a thermos that you like put stuff like put drinks in. Like you got your your musical accompaniment. I believe you can go outside, yeah. And as we get collectibles or whatever, I believe um ships and stuff will actually appear out here that we've like gotten parts to or something. Obi Wan just following us around. Get those Legos in the in the place. What does that make us? Makes us rich. The blue studs, I believe, are worth like. Mmm, no, those are good. Yeah, those are worth a thousand. Oh, don't disappear. Oh, it is. Oh. Tasty. The heck you. It's a weird face. So this, so this is all pretty much bonus stuff that we do not have access to at the moment. I'm just trying to get like a... Cause it's been so long since I've played these LEGO games. I'm trying to get like a, a grasp or whatever. Sort of rejar my memory on everything. Let's head into episode one. Qui-Gon's rocking his ponytail. The Phantom Menace. I've heard though that um, the newer LEGO games are quite interesting, like... You would think like... There, there's not really... Like LEGO probably can't really go that far, but... If you look at like the graphics and stuff... On like the newer like Indiana Jones and all that... Like it's beautiful. So I do want to give that stuff a try. With the Batmans and all. Right. So every episode or whatever is broken into a few levels. So let's head into negotiations. Episode 1. The Phantom Menace. Or as I like to say, the Phantom Menace. I, I don't really like to say that, I'll just be stupid. Chapter 1. Negotiations. Turmoil has engulfed the Galactic Republic. With a blockade of deadly battleships, the Trade Federation has stopped all shipping to the small planet of Naboo. The Supreme Chancellor has secretly dispatched Jedi Knights Qui-Gon Jinn and Obi-Wan Kenobi to settle the conflict. Dot, 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 dot. Oh boy. Do, 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 do. <clears throat> now, The Phantom Menace is an interesting movie on the internet, I believe, because as far as I'm aware, it is the most hated, it's the hated of the, uh, the movies by many people. Um, I, I, I guess I can understand why. Like, there... Like, it's sort of, I guess, I understand that it... So Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan, they busted into here, taking no names. It sort of loses a lot of the mystique of, of um, the original stuff, and, uh... Oh yeah, make it dance. That's the power of the Force. Like, it sort of tries to explain a lot of, I'm not, I don't really know how to, how to put it. I guess I can sort of see where people are coming. But the thing about me, I guess, though, is that I am just by nature and I am an enjoyer of stuff, right? Like, it does not take much to impress me or make me entertained. So I, I am a, a very unlikely person to, like, watch a movie or something and, like, be like, Oh, man, that director, he's, he's the, he's Satan, man. Ugh. Like, like. I will watch it and, and like even though I it might not be the best thing ever but I'll still have a good time and the, the, the that's blah, 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 thus goes with the Star Wars prequels so here we're fighting droids and they can't really do much to us because we're Jedi and they're not now normally if I had not really normally I guess additionally um if I had another person ooh. 
That there is a little um, block that I can use to make a ship at the uh, outside of the canteen. If I had a second player with me, I'm gonna go back here and get some more studs. They would be able to like actually do stuff, not just follow me around and not do anything. Thus is life of no second player. <laughs> now here's something interesting as well. After you beat the game, you can, like, after you, like, beat a level and, like, unlock new characters, because, as you can probably guess, if not play this, Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan are not the only players we're, we're going to be playing as. You will unlock new characters, and if you come back with other characters, you can get stuff that you couldn't get before. Like, there, we have to get, um, a droid. Like, it shows C-3PO there, but there are other droid characters. And they will be able to like hack that protocol terminal and will be able to access that area. I probably won't be going all 100% on this. Um, I think this is, this is the type of game that it would just get kind of tedious doing it, doing anything like that. Like for me, I sort of play these games to sort of um, just to have like a sort of they're sort of like. The weird Al Yankovic, um, the saga begins of uh, video games, of Star Wars video games, should I say? If, if that if that analogy makes sense, like here's another one we already had. Like, we have to have R two D two. I don't really think that stuff ever, like this stuff here, won't really ever amount to anything. Like, it'll just give us, like, more studs and stuff. Like, I'm not gonna be, like... Like, me not going to one of these optional things is not and somehow going to make Darth Vader not Luke's father. Or something. Ooh, here we are. Here we have a... A droid character. But he's quite slow, right? So what I'm gonna do is... Oh, he's not gonna be walking with us, is he? See, he can't jump or anything. He can't do anything but open terminals. So I'm just gonna walk him back here. Should I guess, like, show you, show everyone what this stuff does. Get him, he's all shiny. I'm, I, I am imagining that me playing this on... Me playing the uh, complete saga or whatever. Imagine there's been a lot of uh, graphic enhancements because this game is looking. It looks nice. It, it does. Just give Obi Wan a crack. I, I did spend many an hour, like, trying to 100% like, um, this stuff though. I, like, that meter up there, I believe, is like our stud counter. Like, tells you how many studs you have in, of the level. Or something. <laughs> it, 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 it's, it's hazy to me, but it's bringing back memories. See, now in here, we see you have all these droids. If I stand here... Qui-Gon stands there. If I block it just the right time, I can deflect the bullets back. And push, force. <laughs> that was a... Uh, I meant to say force push. But my mind combined it. So I think this is like what? A TC-14. Thank you for thank you for helping me out, TC14. You're a good droid, TC14. I love you, TC14. It doesn't have the catch that a C3PO has. Look at the way that ponytail wags in the wind. Me spinning. Ugh. Come on. 
Make make Qui Gon get all dizzy. Have a force vomit. <laughs> For some reason, Obi-Wan's hair is like sticking out to me. Like, like it looks nice. <laughs> I like your hair, Obi-Wan. I oh god. Oh wait, I'm so sorry, man. I just like nearly broke him. What the heck did I just do? Um. Okay, okay, he's back. I was never much of a of a Lego fa um fella. I didn't really play with action figures and all that. Oh, actually. There was a period early on I did I did um action figure it up mainly like in the bathtub or whatever, um, but I was never like the type of fella to like build Lego stuff. Oh yeah, look at all that those studs. I'm not sure what that has done for me. I'm now a true Jedi apparently. When it comes to Lego though, what I did do a lot as an early youngster, like very big early youngster, like six, five, six years old, played a lot of the game um, Lego Island, if anyone remembers that. Um, I don't believe it is, um, what the heck is that? I think that's new. Oh god, my lightsaber is purple. I've got a little Mace Windu -y. I'm guessing I can't die or something. Probably like very strong. Shoot me, please. Oh, yeah, everything just bounces off naturally. Oh, go, oh, God. I'm so sorry. Oh, man. Well, this is just embarrassing. But I think I can kill him, right? And should come back, come right back. Yep. <laughs> Uh oh, here we got a little bit of a puzzle. We gotta put stuff on top of stuff in the right order. Basically, Lego Island was a um, a Lego game where it was like in first person, and a giant bomb. Popular video video game editorial site. Um, they were playing it in one of their recent um video series, and watching it play now, like it. it so, it d does not seem to have aged well at all. But I would recommend to people that, that haven't heard of it, look into it if you're into Lego or something. Hmm, okay, this might be something... I'm not sure of all the character types. Like, there's literally, like, probably dozens of characters in this game. I'm not sure if there are any that can, like, float or fly or something. Huh. I'm just not making it. Maybe I'm just maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm just not a good jumper at this. Oh actually. If that's an R2 terminal, I do believe R2 can glide. I think. <laughs> 